Hi, how's everybody doing? I'm gonna do a little bit of recap here on how the market is looking today because it's Monday, October 10, 2022. Um, you know, let's just take a look at a couple of things that I've been looking at here for the loads that I have. So I have two trucks right now in Alachua, Florida. And then this is what we got so far. This is open, going anywhere from today until I think it's uh, the 13th, which is uh, Thursday. Highest paying rate right now will be 6,400. And this is coming from, uh, what are you? Ram Freight Inc. So whenever you get, whenever you see any type of load this is just for future reference uh you definitely have to go in and check you click on it it would open up there you go the mc number you click on it i mean you go to your rate you you go to your um, factoring company you, you type it in and right now ram spray inc has no score uh that it's a red flag for me <laughs> let's click on it and uh, let's see when the day came up. Oh, it doesn't even open up. This happens a lot when it comes to DAT. It tells you request entry too large and it doesn't show up. It doesn't give you anything for that for that company. I wanted to see how long I got there when in business, but I can. Huh. So the next thing that I want to show, the usual, you click here. Broker to carrier spot. Basically what they're paying you or they should be paying you. You know the you know this is what this week has been paying or the week before I don't know how um, DAT sometimes could be completely off uh, so supposedly they're paying 5907 however if you got a cheaper to carry your contract you click it it lets you know that a cheaper will actually pay you six thousand nine hundred dollars if you do a contract with them um, most most brokers whenever you try to get a rate confirmation you have to sign a, a, a broker a contract broker agreement and it tells you there that you cannot solicitate any of these cheapers or receivers for a whole year sometimes even more so yeah if you have done work with them before in the past and it's been less than one year don't even try to try to go get a contract directly with them um so yep that's that's that uh, the next one here on the list will be for whenever you see an M here that means it's a it's a team team driver so you know this one's going to be 5600 again you click in here and it will show you Broker to carry a spot what is paying so far 5,664 this one is right on the dot cheaper to carry a contract however it's supposed to be six seven thousand one hundred and seventy that's a huge gap right there and then if you click uh, if you click on that right there it will show you something that you can print it's a breakdown of the load it tells you uh, the review the AT review uh, it kind of gives you the breakdown. It tells you that it's a band with team. You get to print this. I like to print it because after you get the load, this usually disappears. And then if you try to go back to remember what the MC number or what was the company name that you got the load from, it's gone. So, yeah, just click on that, print it out. You'll be fine. Uh, after that, everything just starts dropping down. Uh, what happened to this one? Sa Savannah, Georgia to California 4,900 uh, drive van I believe I called this one and I was pretty much told uh, uh, that they needed somebody close by and it's still here I'm talking about it's for tomorrow and I'm about three hours away but they told me that I had to be near uh, yeah I don't know uh, it's weird and uh, sometimes that could be like an inside job they're waiting for somebody to call because to give them some money uh, to get a good load that type of stuff whatever uh, let's see 
yeah after that everything starts dropping off I really like the ones I have the bug now if it was a good load you click bug now for example Coyote does this a lot you click on it you go to their website JB Hans does it as well how uh, let's see JB Hans sometimes you click on it and then it actually it's an auction uh, you have to you know name your price whatever uh, but yeah that's that's about it the the rates right now are not looking that hot honestly uh, if I come back here to to California we got the same we got the same broker here in California look at this look at this guys paying 9200 this is a huge huge red flag uh, when it comes to bad uh, double brokering bad brokers going out of business anything like that if you see that they're going a thousand dollars off market come on man come on like why why are you gonna fall for this if you know that things are crazy out here and they are gonna give you a thousand two hundred more than the market come on like this is very obvious it's it's fraud um, but yeah um, California if we forget about this load here we only have two loads paying eight thousand dollars or more I'm not even gonna check um, the brokers just in case all of them are bad but if we eliminate the outliers we are on the seven thousand seven hundred dollars to seven thousand seven thousand two hundred and I'm talking about four or five loads so honestly it's it's little it's little compared to California you know California used to be a monster um, not to say that there's a lot of loads wait wait when I mean that it used to be a monster I'm talking about the price range there's plenty of loads there's plenty of loads out there they're just paying shitty money and then the ones all the way on the top are scary because you know those are fucked up brokers um, I'm, I'm not saying that you know any of these brokers specifically is but if I if my if my factoring company has never worked with you most likely uh, yeah no you're you just you know you just came up with that uh, broker you know you open that that new account you open that new business you got that going you're about to take a hit and take everybody with you and then I'm gonna be doing a broker claim and you know having to put a lawyer and losing 40 percent of nine thousand dollars so I'm, I, I'm probably gonna get what back like five thousand dollars which is what I paid in gas and to drivers so no 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 none of that been there done that but yeah this is it this is how the market is looking I had a said to also going to New York and uh, going to New York because I have uh, some loads that I would like to take down to to Miami to Florida honestly uh, but nope it's paying really really bad I think it's the long weekend I think I hope um, this is this broker pays uh, I have worked with them before 25,000 pounds is not that bad uh, the rate though the rate it's ugh, the rates horrible man it's a dry band and they are not they're not paying um so if we do the math together let's do this really quickly 1900 divided by 1,260 1,266 they want to pay on this load $1.50 a mile um, that's crazy uh, it, it's it's horrible it's horrible <laughs> okay so we have here broker to carrier spot 2367 they're below uh, cheaper to carry it three thousand dollars see that's more like it. so if we do three thousand miles divided by a thousand two hundred sixty six we're looking at two dollars thirty seven cents a mile it's it's bad but it's better than what we're getting offered right now so pretty much we're staying put uh, it sucks to stay put this long but you know something else has to come up in here like there's it's it's, it's horrible out here uh, I am going to take a positive value in life and say that it is because it's a long weekend. But yeah, we'll see.